What's going on everybody? Back with the CX500 here. I just wanted to kind of show you what we're working on and kind of go over the plan, which I didn't cover in the last video. So as you saw, we talked about the Monoshock a little bit and this and that and that and this and whatnot, but the plan, as you can see here, is becoming pretty substantial. So the big one is a GL650 motor, as you can see. I mean, why not have a little bit of extra power? I mean, it's a CX500, not a powerhouse, but a 650, I mean, every little bit helps, right? Beyond that, uh, the next big one is a full Cognito laced wheel set, front and back, which is gonna be absolutely sick. So we've got some Pirelli uh, Rosso 3s to go on here. And then you can see I got the Renthals, the triples on the way from Cognito along with the bar risers. And then once we, you know, we'll swap the engine in, I'm going to do a lot of work on this tank. I'm actually gonna do a flush mount cap on here, do like a nice little subtle touch for this thing. And then, you know, we'll smooth some sections on the frame. I gotta build the subframe itself still and then I will brace the swing arm further. But yeah, this is going to be a really nice bike when it's done. I want it to handle well, I want it to be comfortable, and I want it to be reliable. So with this engine, you know, it's it's sat for a while. Yeah, it's a little grimy, but it should clean up pretty well. And then I actually have, uh, we went ahead and got a new stator and a new regulator rectifier, a high output MOSFET one from Ricks. And then I have like almost every gasket and seal for this thing too. So I'm going to go through it and we're going to do um, a whole lot of goodies to it. Just making it fresh, making it reliable and definitely not drip anything because that's annoying. But yeah, we're going to go through this thing top to bottom, front to back, and it's going to be awesome. So I'm still ordering a whole lot of stuff and some stuff is still on the way, but... I'm gonna to continue to work on this thing. Hopefully, like I said, a video a week, that's the goal. And the next thing I'll show you, uh, I'm gonna be working on the uh, tank position here. I've got some stuff you'll see right after this, but I'm really excited about this thing. It's gonna be fun. I've done a couple CX-500s in the past and they've been a good time, but this one I'm really, you know, we're, we're going all out on, so. 650 engine, full lace wheels, rear disc, big front discs. It's gonna handle, it's gonna stop. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be great, but stick around. I think you guys are really gonna enjoy this one. So thanks for watching.
So we're checking out the CX500 here. As you can see, I got the red shock on here. And that helps uh, raise the ride height up in the back a little bit and level out the engine to the ground, which is kind of what I prefer. But I can still uh, crank down on this a little bit more. You can see uh, I'm not at all the adjustments, so I can add a little bit more preload in there, raise it back up just a little bit more, which is all it needs. But for now, what I'm working on is adjusting kind of how I visually want the tank. And this position right here is actually using the uh, factory uh, front mounts in a sense but what I don't like about them is that they're too high so you can see the gap right there between the tank and the frame so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up cutting those off and then I'll drop the front of the tank down hopefully about three quarters of an inch half inch three quarter you know we'll see and then that'll also help give the uh, tank a more level profile and then beyond that, you know, I'm going to end up cutting this mount off the back and then we'll fabricate something completely new because we're going to build an entire subframe for the bike. But yeah, got to get that ride height, you know, got to get that, that stance, make it look good. So yeah, it's going to be awesome.